Old School RuneScape, a game which started off as nothing more than a trip down memory lane with only a handful of developers. Since then, the game has taken its own direction with community-driven updates which leads to hundreds of thousands of players logging in each day to play this retro game. Let's see what the hype is all about, hopefully you guys will join me on this journey. What's up YouTube, my name's Ravlar and welcome to the first episode of my old school RuneScape Iron Man Progress. Now most of you probably know me from RS3 but I've decided to branch out and make old school content as well and so far the fun I've had in this account is amazing so please do stick around and subscribe if you want to see some old school content as well. Anyway, the aim of this series is to explore everything that this game has to offer. It's not that popular for no reason and we're going to explore it and compare some key aspects to RS3 and overall just explore what exactly makes this game so special. So hopefully you guys will come along for the journey and I'm going to be putting some serious time into this account so hopefully you enjoy. So the first thing on my mind is we're probably going to need some food on this Iron Man, obviously we are, and I suppose the best new game food is probably cakes, right? So we got ourselves five thieving. Yeah, man, let's get cracking. So a really cool feature on old school is this NPC called Count Draenor. What he does is he can teleport you to the stronghold of security one time only. And as a new account and an Iron Man, we desperately need that 10k cash. You know, money on this game is going to be harder to come by than it ever was in RuneScape 3. So let's go there and get that 10k. Now, obviously, along the way, we're going to get ourselves the fancy colored boots, yo, because, you know, if you're getting the fighter's boots, yo, you know, you're trying too hard to be something you're not, man. Embrace the colorness of your insides, bro. Get the colored boots and let's get rocking. So it's me from the future. A few hours later, we've managed to get ourselves 50 woodcutting with a steel axe, man. It has been hella painful. Well, the real reason for this is so we can get 50 fire making with the logs that we've banked. And there's a reason for that, and that is Winter Todd. Now, Winter Todd is apparently the best way to start off an Iron Man. It's a skilling boss, and it offers you a massive amount of loot. So, I'm looking forward to exploring that. But for now, let's get that fire making level. And boom, there you go, guys. Level 50 fire making. Along the way, I've also bought a shit ton of wines as food because they heal 12 each and they're only one GP so yeah boys. So now that we have 50 fire making in order to get to Winter Todd and actually stay there without sustaining a shit ton of damage we need to get ourselves on some warm clothing. Now there's several types of warm clothing but the easiest one for us to get is the clue hunter outfit so that's why in the background I'm just digging up some random locations where this outfit is hidden. Now that we've got this, it's time to stock up some food, so we're going to be thieving some cakes for a while, and after we've thieved the cakes, we can go to Winter Todd and see what this game is all about. So in order to get to Winter Todd, we have to go to Zaya. Now Zaya is a brand new continent on Old School, which is absolutely stuffed to the rim with content. Now there's different houses on this landmass, and in order to get favor, we need to do tasks, etc. So we'll be seeing a lot of Zaya in the future, and there's lots to explore. Welcome to Winter Todd. Now, on RS3, we mainly train fire making through bonfires, and that's rather simple. Old School went a different direction and introduced the skilling boss called Winter Todd. This mini boss can be done in a group or solo and the aim is for the player to woodcut and or fletch some kindling and add that to the braziers to help the neuromancers to defeat the winter tod. The activity the player does determines the loot that they get. Overall it's quite a simple and repetitive process, it's social which is awesome and the good news for Iron Man is, is that the loot is pretty awesome especially early game as it gives you a lot of supplies. It also gives you the chance to get a potential Tome of Fire, which is an offhand mage book with a pretty awesome bonus, and it also boosts the damage 
for fire spells if you add pages to it. Now there is also a very rare chance of getting a dragon axe and you can also get the skilling outfit pieces for pyromancer which boost fire making xp. Overall what's great about Winter Todd is that you get massive amounts of fire making xp but you also get quite a lot of woodcutting and fletching xp so this is a great way to start off the account. So we've just hit 75 fire making and let's just open up the loot crates which I have in my inventory and yeah we've had some pretty nice rewards unfortunately we've not had any of the pyromancer outfit or a tome of fire yet but the supplies are looking very good and we've got a bunch of cash to get ourselves going with so if we take a look at the bank yeah as you can see only 75 fire making and we've literally got here in absolutely no time it's been super quick but now i think a little change of pace a lot of people have been told me to do barbarian fishing to get some strength and some agility xp and it's apparently some very nice afk so i think we may shift our focus to that before coming back to winter todd so as we all know the first few levels of fishing are absolutely boring that's why we absolutely skip them all by doing the sea slug quests and my god man for like a 10 minute quest it gets you some mad fishing levels early on so yeah, what a great start. Also, we need to get ourselves a shit ton of feathers to fly fish and get on that barbarian fishing grind. So while I'm in Witchhaven, I stocked up on a massive stack of these. And hopefully this will last me until around 85 fishing, which is when I plan to stop because then I should have 60 agility and 60 strength. Let's see how we go. But before we get on that barbarian grind, let's finish off everyone's favorite quest in the game, the waterfall quest. Bruh, this, this is so overpowered. Who in their right mind when RuneScape was released allowed this to exist? But anyway, those are some mad strength and attack levels. Let's get on that barbarian fishing grind. So we're here. We did some fly fishing. Now it's time to fish for absolutely ages. It gets quicker as the levels go higher, but this is going to be a long grind, guys. I'll see you whenever I'm done. Oh my days, that was a very, very unpleasant grind. But guys, we've got ourselves 85 fishing. That took so, it literally took months because I'm so bad at AFKing. But there we go, guys. We've got ourselves a very great start to the account. 85 fishing and we've got ourselves strength in the 60s and agility in the 60s. So yeah, a cracking start to this account. And uh, yeah, let's go back and uh, I think let's get a 99, shall we? Let's go to Winter Todd and smash 99 fire making. One mistake I made earlier was not actually buying a house before we went to Winter Todd because you get some construction XP. I've also been advised to get it to like level 25 or so. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm literally picking up planks, like fighting against bots. It's actually dreadful and making these chairs, but... Hopefully we'll get some nice construction levels by the time our Winter Todd grind is over. I also had a sudden urge to do Druidic Ritual. So there you go guys, three herb. Yay! 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 Oh, hey there. I didn't see you. It's been a shit motherfucking long time since we recorded. And yeah, as you can see, we have done a lot of Winter Todd games. It's getting pretty repetitive, but what I'm doing is I'm doing it on my tablet and like watching a TV series, you know, alongside it. And it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's just repetitive. And yeah, unfortunately, even at this ridiculous KC, I don't have all the pyromancer pieces, but we did manage to get ourselves a Tome of Fire, which I am absolutely over the moon about. But yeah, guys, level 99 is... 
kind of close. I'm getting around 300k an hour, which is quick. And given that we get loot and fletching and woodcutting XP, there's absolutely no complaints from me, lads. Let's finish this off and, you know, take a breather then. Well, lads, the final game, here it is. And this has been a grind. It's not been a terrible grind, but it's been a grind. The loot that I've got has been so worth it. As soon as I got full Pyromancer, I started stacking the crates so we can have a massive dopamine burst when we open through the crates in a massive stack. So I'm looking forward to that. And there it is, lads. Level 99 fire making. Bruh. We out here. This account is on its way. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode so far. So... Now we've got this beautiful level 99 fire making. We have enough cash. Let's go get that cape. So the guy who sells a cape is south of Sears Village. So we ran over here. Let's just uh, flex this shitty emote. Bruh. Yeah. That was beautiful, guys. Well, I managed to get full pyromancer around like level 90 something fire making man it was not fun waiting that long but anyway here are all the crates let's put on a quick montage and we'll whisk through them and uh, yeah enjoy So there's the loot, lads. My god, dude, what a great start to the account. Look at all those farming supplies, that cash stack. Mate, I've got enough cash to get magic up. I've got enough herbs to get herb law up. I've got a shit ton of seeds to get farming up. Bro, I've got a mad amount of magic seeds, bro. When we get that, like, distant level 75 farming, we're going to be set. Mate, what a great start to the account, and yeah, to think we got level 60-something woodcutting, fletching out of it, and 99 fire making, of course. I cannot recommend this enough. I can't wait to get through this stuff and see where it gets us on the Iron Man. But before we do that, there is one big grind left on this episode. So, as you all probably know, agility is key on old school RuneScape. Because run energy is an absolute bitch. Now, because we did some barbarian fishing, we managed to get ourselves quite a high agility level. But one thing more that we need is graceful. Now, what graceful does is it increases the amount of run energy that you restore by 30%. Now, this may not seem like a lot, but when you don't have energy potions or stamina potions, this is absolutely essential early game. So, I'm going to have to grind this by getting Marks of Grace, which is the yellow tokens that you see me getting on this rooftop course. Now, after I get to 60, I will have enough to get myself a set of Graceful. So, that's going to be a big grind. So, I'm just going to get my head down and get it done. It's probably going to take 20 hours or so. So, wish me luck, guys. And I'll see you when we get there. There it is on the floor, lads, that beautiful mark of grace, meaning we have enough marks to get ourselves full graceful. Now, this is going to be such a lifesaver during quests, and obviously having this nice agility level alongside it doesn't hurt either. We can go straight to blue drag through the shortcut, and we skipped a lot of the early horrible agility training. 
So let's get ourselves that beautiful set of graceful, and we can call it a day there. But yeah, it's it's been one hell of a grind. So now we've got our hands on full graceful. Let's call it there. So much footage has been recorded of this account, and I really hope you enjoyed the episode. If you're new around here, please do subscribe. And if you liked it, please do drop a like because it really does motivate me. I will be making a range of old school content as well, so please do stick around for that. As always, any feedback is welcome, always, always welcome, and feel free to join my Discord and, you know, get to know me a little bit better. I have an amazing community in there, and I'd love to see you. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is just the beginning. Watch this space, and I'll see you in the next video. To the outro. Na 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 na